Hello and welcome to Vision This Week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Joe Oketumbi. At a busy airport like the Muritela Mohamed International Airport in Lagos, over 10 million passengers pass through annually, with hundreds of flights taking off and landing every month. That means that each day, a large number of people move through the airport and need certain services. Airports provide those services in their terminals, and the terminal is the heart of any airport. There you will find the space for airlines to handle ticket sales, passenger check-in and claims. How this whole system interacts is our focus this week and our flight is ready to taxi. The departure hall of the Muratala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos as passengers check in for various flights. But there is much more to an airport beyond the departure hall. An airport is described as an aerodrome with facilities for flights to take off and land. and millions of passengers pass through this kind of terminal every year. Moving this large volume of people to their ultimate destinations require different airlines, which collectively make up the daily arrivals and departures. Most airports also consist of a landing area which comprises an aerially accessible open space, including at least one operationally active surface, such as a runway for a plane to take off. The airfield consists of runways and ramps, known as taxiways, that connect to the terminal and often includes adjacent utility buildings, such as control towers, hangars and terminals. In many ways, a modern airport operates like a city. A governing body provides strategic direction and oversees day-to-day -day management. Waste removal crews collect trash from airport facilities and airplanes. Police and fire squads protect life and property. And various departments handle administrative duties, ranging from human resources and public relations to legal and finance. In addition to those activities, airports must also provide the resources necessary to care for a fleet of commercial aircrafts. Airlines need space for airplanes, facilities for routine maintenance, jet fuel and places for passengers and flight crews while on the ground. Freight companies need space for loading and unloading cargo airplanes, and pilots and other crew members need facilities for aircraft storage and maintenance, and places to relax while on the ground. Most airports in Nigeria are operated by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, while some are run by the state government who built them. The Murtala Mohammed Airport 2 is operated by the Bai Courtney Aviation Group. <laughs> Airport operations can be classified into two categories. Airside facilitation activities, which include every service performed to facilitate an aircraft or all operational activities beyond the gate on the apron and runway. Mm -hmm. 
and non-air side activities, which is basically land side activities like passenger management, parking and baggage reclaim. One major workforce at airports are air traffic controllers. These are people trained to maintain the safe and expeditious flow of air traffic. Okay, you Controllers apply separation rules to keep aircraft at a safe distance from each other in their area of responsibility and move all aircraft safely and efficiently through the assigned sector of airspace as well as on the ground. Another very important department is the Meteorological Agency that supplies weather information to ensure